Finest Edge, your source for MMA. On a cold, cold, frosty morning, I'm here at the uh, MMA FA in Kanata with Dennis Kang. So, uh, Dennis, how are you enjoying the weather today? Man, it was cold. We got up and it was minus 20. So, like I told the guys, it's uh, it's only real warriors that train uh, minus 20 at 9 a.m. And and do you think this actually like, adds anything to the difficulty of the training? Or? No, not at all. Uh, yeah. Maybe you have you have to warm up a little bit better, you know, yeah. because it is cold. The mat is cold when you get in. So, being that it's it's cold and your body's a little stiffer, it can be a little bit easier to get injured. But as long as you get a good warm up going, good sweat, you're okay. And you've been training the guys more and more often. Um, t- tell us a bit about that. Yeah, I started off doing it just two days a week, just gi on Wednesday, no gi on Friday, and now we just added the. The Saturday morning MMA class and it's going great. I mean, we got an awesome turnout. You know, we got a great group of guys. It has grown. We started off with only I think six or eight guys, and then we're up to I think twelve or fifteen. You know, and everybody here is getting very good. I'm putting my time into it. I'm making sure that they're getting good. It's like I told them. All they need to do is show up. I'll take care of the rest. Nice. Um, any kind of standouts that we have in here? Oh, uh, Pete Grashgar. There's a couple other guys that are uh, on, on their way up. You know, that haven't really fought yet. But he's the one right now that's. Uh, that's Great stuff. Um, is there any sort of anything you, that you find yourself focusing on more than more than not? Jiu-jitsu is probably more the focus, you know. Mm. Uh, you know, because I do come from a grappling background, but I mean, I do instill the the values that I have that make me a mixed martial artist. I mean, and, and that's to be well-rounded as well, you know. So even though I do, we do probably a little bit more jujitsu. We, uh, we make sure that everybody's going to be well-rounded if they, they want to compete in fights. Mm-hmm. Um, would, would you say that it's, it's good to have, for somebody to have a background already in something when they start MMA? Oh, it's a huge help. It's a yeah. huge help because any kind of combative, you know, kind of gives you that it's almost like a warm-up to train you know you're going to be familiar with what it's like to for, you know your, your body mechanics are going to be nice and lined up and tuned usually you know even if it's a little bit different than the style then then you're going then you're switching over to it's still going to be better than going in cold mm-hmm. and it seems that like wrestling has, has kind of taken the forefront recently in MMA um, would you say that it's there's a reason behind that other than just it seems that less guys are kind of relying on the jiu-jitsu more? Well, it's because UFC now has become so much more strategic and so much more of a sport than it was back in the day, which is not necessarily bad. You know, it is what it is. You know, there's more money into it now and it's, you know, we're seeing it more and more, but, uh, you know, wrestling has so much, uh, put so much emphasis on control. Mm. So you can get in there and control the fight with taking minimum damage. You know, you're, you're seeing a lot of guys who are coming in and just working the takedowns, minimal ground and pound, and just winning on points like that, you know? And they're getting away with it, so why not? Mm-hmm. And you, you were saying to the guys today about the, uh, the importance of uh, fighting smart. Yeah. Can you, can you elaborate on that a little bit? No, I, I just meant that you, you can't go and, and blow your wad right away and try to go too crazy. You know, you have to think strategically and pick your spots, pick your battles, you know? Uh, rarely are you going to see somebody come out and just try to go 100% full blast the whole time. You know, I'm trying to teach the guys that you have to fight, you have to build a rhythm, you know, and you have to pick your openings to which you're going to attack. And did you find it, um, the, the switching from, from fighting um, to teaching as well, did you, did you find that kind of a hard transition or was it just no, a no, natural I mean, thing? I've, I've always been teaching, yeah. you know, so, and, and I'm still going to fight, you know, so. Uh, it's, teaching has always been something that came naturally to me. You know, my mother was a teacher, an elementary school teacher, so I, I must have gotten it from her. But uh, it's always been something that I've enjoyed primarily. I don't know if I was always, if, if I'm not going to say, you know, that I was always good at it or if I am good at it, but it's something that I ha- always have and that I still enjoy. Great. And would you say that um, it's, it's a kind of different feeling from... A lot of people sort of say that it's a it's a, a one person sport. I mean, obviously, when you're in the ring, it's it's just you. But um, what would you sort of say about the the teamwork aspect of, of training? Yes, in you know what? I, I I first was exposed to that when I was an American Top Team. You know, prior to that, I was uh, you know I was mostly kind of training on my own in Vancouver, going back and forth. Uh, you know, but once you get into a good strong team environment and you have different fighters training together, sweating together every day. 
you know, you all help each other. And when you go to fights together or when you train together and cut weight together, you know, it's, it, it goes a long way. You feel like you're not just fighting alone. Because fighting can be a very lonely sport. You know, you step in that ring alone, you cut weight. There's nobody else that's taking that pressure off your shoulders. So if you're in, a, let's say you're training in a team, you know, and you have other teammates that have fights at the same time as you or around the same time when you're training with them, that's taking a bit of the pressure off. So it, it helps a little bit that way. And is there any um, any announcements on, your, on any upcoming fights that you can talk about? No, so r right now I think uh, I'm going to take some time off probably until about mid-summer or after the summer. I need to have, uh, I need to, to rest a few things on my body and just kind of take it easy, you know. Good stuff. And um, moving forward, uh, what, what are your sort of plans for expanding um, right here at the uh, Mixed Martial Arts and Fitness Academy? We'll see. So far, it's working out very well the way I'm doing it, you know. Uh, I'm only... Uh, a short little drive away in, uh, in in Montreal, you know. So in the future, you might see me coming out uh, a little even more. Great. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Dennis. You got it.